Yes. Now to a CBS 2 exclusive, Charles Green. Remember that name? His fight for the release of decades of Chicago police misconduct files started a heated debate at City Hall. In his first TV interview, he tells our CBS 2 political investigator Dana Kozlov he simply wants to clear his name. It's been a roller coaster. Charles Green has spent the last decade fighting to clear his name of any connection to a 1985 quadruple murder. Did you have anything to do with the murder of those people? No, ma'am, I did not. He was 16 when a Chicago police detective brought him in for questioning without a lawyer or a parent. He goes to, like, punch me and hit me. Green says he felt the beatings left him with no other choice but to sign a confession. Eventually it led to me saying, man, wow, they're going to they gonna kill me. I'm better just go on here, you know what I'm saying, because... He was like, well, not, not, not that we got a statement, we need you to sign it before you go home. Green spent the next 24 years in prison before a judge released him in 2009. A few years later, he submitted a freedom of information request to the city, asking for 50 years of police misconduct files to help prove his innocence. It proves that's like uh, the uh, police was corrupt. The city ignored the FOIA. Green sued and a judge ordered those records released. That's when the city offered him half a million dollars to withdraw his lawsuit. The city council approved the settlement, but some aldermen still wanted those records released. Flash forward to now, Mayor Lori Lightfoot and Alderman Scott Wagaspak and Chris Taliaferro announced a plan to only release files dating back to 2000. Green's settlement never paid. They just uh, built us up for something that they knew they wouldn't go and do. It is difficult to contain my rage at how horrible they have treated this man who did literally nothing wrong. There's a sense in which Mr. Green stood up for the rest of us. Says Invisible Institute Director Jamie Calvin, a longtime crusader for police misconduct transparency, he calls Green's treatment scandalous and City Hall's records release proposal worse than nothing. The legislation that was offered yesterday this is, this is just one of many examples, mm -hmm. would not have included the officers involved in the Laquan McDonald cover-up. That proposal is now being reworked after aldermanic pushback, and Green isn't giving up. It's in black and white somewhere. We, we just got to get it. Charles's exoneration is the end game here. And Green's attorney is now asking the U.S. Supreme Court to hear his case after the city won an appeal to keep those records closed in March. As for that proposed ordinance, it was supposed to come up at a city council meeting tomorrow. Now it is unclear when yet another reworked version will be brought up for any sort of city council vote. Live outside Chicago City Hall, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Brad. Dana, our thanks.